keep her speed up. This yak doesn't see us. So we're going to make a huge mistake here. But I don't really have a choice. We're going to climb as much as we can. This, if this 109 would bring it down a little bit, it would be okay. So I hit the, hit the yak. Oops, a little too much. I want to have another, another yak going in. Striking right now. This is going to be great. So he's diving really hard. And he might have blacked out. I don't know. Here, yeah, here he goes. He's trying to pull up now. Hopefully he sees me. He does. We have a pretty good closure rate. This is, this is the problem I was talking about before, where you have too close to the closure rate. So our energy states are nearly equal. So he has a good, good chance to pop me. And he's trying, so I'm gonna try and do a little bit of dodging. No hits. And I'm, I'm working my engine as hard as I can right now. And he's not gonna be able to, he's not gonna be able to stay with me. We can hold this engine for about a minute. Break it back down to combat. We're gonna use our engine to roll over. And we need to find him. There he is. So he's still gonna, he's still climbing. Right there. And that is what we call a dragon bag, even though I didn't know someone was there. So that's good. So he's in a hard dive now, which means now we are offensive on his ass. Let me fix my pitch trim again. He's gonna, he's gonna cut left, which is perfectly fine. He's doing a little split S. So I'm climbing again, fixing my engine settings. Oh, he just burned all of his energy doing that turn for why? For what reason? There was no one on him. Make sure no one else is around me. Looks good. He's still down there. He's basically, he's basically trying to be defensive now. Spoil my shot. Okay, so 109's coming in. Let's see if he turns for him. He is, he is. We're gonna lead his turn again. He sees me, he breaks off. Smart, smart play, but he's still defensive. I'm the one still dictating the fight. climb. We're not going to work our engine. See our 109 diving here. On what? I don't know. And I lost sight of the yak. He may have hit the ground. Oh no, there he is. There he is. I see him now. All right, so let's see what the yak does. Looks like he's going to do a left turn. climbing slightly. See, I'm still dictating the fight. So he's the one who has to be defensive. He's the one who has to decide what to do. He's going to try and ram me? Are you kidding me? Don't ram me, dude. So I'm a little bit slower now. But I'm still, I'm still the one dictating the fight. He's the one being defensive. I'm definitely offensive. We haven't struck yet, but... He's been doing a great job of uh, dodging and weaving. He's a good pilot right here. What he needs to do is he needs to cut back in and take some pot shots at me um, as, I, as I overshoot him. So I am overshooting him, and overshooting is not always a bad thing. So we'll try now. So we can see he's going vert. And that's going to give us our opportunity that we need. So you can't see me now because I'm under the belly. And I was just a little bit low on the shot. Can't miss your shots, man. You can't miss your shots. That's all right. He's still very defensive. He's running out of options as the ground gets closer, right? He's running out of options. So before he could have energy trapped me with a slight dive cut left as I pass and I overshoot, cut back to the right. Now he's facing two people on the deck 
and I can I can almost slow down a little bit and make make some shots on him. Oh, just lost him. He's under my he's under my cowling somewhere. There he is. So all he can do is just dodge, and eventually one of my shots will connect, or I run out of ammo. One or the other. Something something like that's gonna happen. Okay, so here he is, he's climbing again. He's gonna cut in because yeah, I can do that. And that was just a little too too low. Let's see if he tries to kind of cut him around. See, he's, he's trying to get altitude, is what he's trying to do. So he's he's upside down now, and that 109 also misses shots. All right, so okay, let's see what he does. So what we're doing is we're putting our belly under him. If he climbs up to me, oh, he got hit. Oh, he's oh no, he didn't. He's boiling. He's boiling. He, uh, he closes his rats to try to climb up. All right, so now we're doing we're being dumb now. Just a little low again. Got to work on my my angle. So see, he's trying to come back in now, but. My speed is way faster than him. He, doesn't, he still does not have a lot of options. He's still defensive, and he will be defensive the whole time because the 109 is faster. As long as I don't commit to turning with him, which I could, I could totally commit to it, and we could do like a flat scissors, but that's, that's pretty risky. All right, so he's coming around, hopefully for that other 109. He sees me for sure. All right, this time. Oh, he dodged it. He dodged it. Ooh, what's going on with my FPS here? Hello. 70 FPS. Wow, that was crazy. Let's turn it back around. All right, so it's prop hanging, and I wish I was here to get a shot in. I might be, might be able to get on, but the yak is very, very good. Prop hanging. Oof. He's still cooking his engine right now. He basically has his rads closed. Okay, so you know what? If he's gonna keep propping it like that, we're gonna have to do something about it. So I'm cutting really hard. I'm just burned a bunch of energy to try to get some hits into him as he's prop hangs like that. So here he comes again. This time we're gonna get hits into him. I can feel it, I can feel it. Like there we go. Nope, not a kill, but that's okay. So that's how it's done. So now, like, I sort of won the initial engagement. Oh, that was that was more than nece than necessary. <laughs> All right, so he's down. So let's give him a hell of a good fight. Hell of a good fight. He faced off against two 109s, and he was he was a. Uh, how would you escort JU87s or HE in a 109? Well, uh, 